The Mekong in Southeast Asia is one of the world's great rivers, stretching over 3,000 miles and passing through six countries. 60 million people rely on it for food and their livelihoods. But now, it's become the focus of an emotive issue that's dividing people. Some believe the river should be dammed to create electricity and fund development. Hydropower development is one of the best alternatives that brings electricity to people for their domestic use and also helps eradicate poverty. While others say that would be bad for social welfare, food security and the environment. The dam will be devastating for ecosystem, for local livelihoods, for economy and for the regional well-being. Caught in the middle of this dispute are people like Titarat Shawatnapong, a Lao-based Thai student. I have grown up around the Mekong, and now I have learned a lot in my work for the Mekong River Commission, an international organization where I am working towards a PhD about the future of the river. I want to educate myself and others about a different perspective, and so I am setting out to make this film to try and learn more about this complex issue. In this episode, Titarat Shawatnapong is our Earth reporter, and this is her story. I am a student from Thailand, but I live in Laos. When I was a child, I went to the Mekong River with my family. It was a very good memory. At that time, the river was very big and beautiful to me. It was my passion to know more about the Mekong River. The Mekong River flows through China, Burma, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. The plans for dams on the Mekong are polarizing people, so I'm keen to find out more about this issue. Hydropower is the production of electricity created by the gravitational force of falling or flowing water. And the Lao PDR government is planning to build 11 hydropower dams along its section of the river and claims the funds they generate can kickstart its ailing economy. Lao has an agreement in place to sell 95% of the electricity to its economically booming neighbour Thailand. And the first of the dams would be a $3.8 billion hydropower project to be built here in Zayaburi, in northern Lao. The actual powerhouse of the dam will be built here and it's right across the Mekong River and it's going to be huge. The Zayaburi Dam will be 810 metres long and 32 metres high. It would create a reservoir with a catchment area of 272,000 square kilometres. The immediate impact of the Zayaburi Dam will be felt by the thousands of people living nearby. Whole villages could end up being dismantled and families move from the homes they've lived in for generations. The Lao PDR authorities insist that the country's citizens will benefit if the dams are built. They also say they will try to alleviate any environment issues resulting from the dams. Do you believe that the hydropower projects are a way for Laos to achieve prosperity and economic success? Laos has been looking into natural ways to develop the country for a while. Should this be mining or electricity or agriculture? There were several studies conducted, but the lesson learned for the development scheme from 15 to 20 years ago was that hydropower development is one of the best alternatives that brings electricity to people for their domestic use and also helps eradicate poverty. The change posed by the dam construction will severely disrupt food supplies from land and water, especially for freshwater fish, a key source of protein. 
but the local flora and plant life will also be impacted too. The Mekon is home to more than 1,300 different species of fish. Environmentalists claim that building dams on the river could block fish migrations, which are vital to their life cycle and could lead to the extinction of many species. The effect on commercial fishing, which is worth around $2 billion a year, could also be acute, affecting the livelihoods of millions living and working along the lower Mekong Basin. It is very important for the Delta area. It is the most productive agricultural area for Vietnam. People produce rice on that Delta, very fertile. So the destruction will be massive because of Sayaburi Dam as well as other mainstream dams. Environmentalists have told me that the hydropower dams could threaten regional food security. They claim that the flow of sediment would be disrupted to the rice-growing Southern Delta region, through which the Mekong flows. Cambodia and Vietnam would be worse affected as the biggest producers of Southeast Asia's staple food.